People come from all over the world to fish in the Gulf waters. So what happens when there are dead zones in the Gulf of Mexico? Well, ABC Action News reporter Jessica De Leon speaks to one Bradenton charter fisherman working to build artificial reefs off the coast of Anna Maria Island. I care about our fisheries. It's all I've been doing my whole life. Captain Jason Stock knows the Gulf waters off of Anna Maria. Born and raised in St. Pete, he has been guiding fishing trips for the last 20 years. Fish move a lot. So we have red tides, we have water issues, we have a lot of natural disasters, hurricanes. So all that contributes into fish moving. Encouraged by his regular clients, Jason started the nonprofit dad, Full Send Bob. Reef Habitat but she was to create artificial reefs using recycled construction materials, such as concrete and steel. So basically we're creating life in an area that's a desert and it's not rocket science. You put something there shortly after marine life comes to it. So the best way to put it is an oasis in the middle of the desert. The site for Jason's first artificial reef is about 22 miles southwest of Anna Maria Island. The state allows each site to be a quarter square mile, 56 acres. We have the bottom surveyed from FWC and other scientists to make sure that there's no live bottom there. We wanted to give you a look at some of the recycled construction materials that will go into the first reef. We're here at Tampa Contracting Services near Port Manatee, where some of those materials are stored. We have the uh, concrete rubble, and we also have the concrete culverts being able to be donated. They're also getting donations of concrete from other Tampa Bay projects that couldn't be used in construction. They have some B-grade materials that have a hairline fracture in them that are not you know, up to their standards. Jason hopes to begin building the reefs as soon as he gets final approval from Manatee County and the state. Anyone wishing to help? Check out our website, abcactionnews.com. Reporting from Manatee County, this is Jessica Leleon, ABC Action News.